Welcome back to Survival 101. Here we are. Uh, today we're going to be doing a harvest again. Um, here we're we'll looking at my onions to see you guys how much they've grown in a couple days. It's just tremendous. And this is what we're going after for, folks. And also the onions themselves, the bulbs. Um, they'll get bigger a little bit, but no more. Just, I want. Let's get back. I want to let these go until like as long as I can, pretty much. So yeah, they grow at least this one, especially three inches. Here's my cucumber right here, the one that we harvested from a couple days ago. Um, it's doing good. There's has some more cucumbers right here. Um, it, it has to get watered tonight. Um, definitely. Um, oh, here's another cucumber right here. This might be almost ready to pick. Ah, uh, nah, not yet. It's a little bit more. Oh, um, and anything else down there? Nah. Nope, not this cucumber. We do. I I think we do have a couple of cucumbers that are ready to harvest. We will check that out. Here's the one. That's that's too small. Uh, um, hard to see cucumbers in here. There's a couple more. Uh, um, nothing on this plant ready to harvest apparently. Any tomatoes ready to harvest? Yep. This guy's ready to go. Just twist and pull. Here's one. And there's one tomato. Let's see any more ready to harvest? Let me see. Real quick. Nah, that's about it. Uh, but that's good. One tomato in the box. This guy has nothing yet. Uh, the dill is still forming pods. I'm so repeatedly. Um, Trying not to let them. Any bell peppers are at harvest? Not on this plant. Nope, nope. This guy right here looks not ready yet. Right here, but it's getting there. Right there. Tomatoes are doing okay. I don't know, what, I have no idea what this guy's doing, but whatever. Lemon boy, nothing yet. Let's go check out the cucumbers, try to see if there's anything ready to harvest. In this bush or hill, like Donald likes to from Bayou Gardner likes to say, um, there's there's a nice one. So unfortunately, I have to pick over here. Let's see if there's anyone to pick. Nothing here. Nothing here. I think. Oh, never mind. I'll take that back. Here's one. Yes, sir. This one's ready to go. I kind of let it go too long, actually, but it will do. There we go. There you go. Not bad. It's about six inches. Nice. What's in the box? Got some nice salad tonight with my tomato and my jalapenos and my cucumbers and my bell peppers I harvested the other day. Back here we got nothing yet probably. Let's see if we check out any squash. Uh, not anything here yet. I put the green beans, have some green beans in there. We're gonna have to check those later out. Yeah, it's a nice cucumber. And there's so, I mean, give it in, in, at least in two weeks, guys. Cucumbers are becoming crazy. And there's so many that are so big, but they're not ready to ready to harvest. They're ready to pickle, but I don't pickle them. Okay, this guy has. It has flowers, but they keep dying off. If you guys know why the reason they're not getting pollinated or anything, please leave a comment below. Let's squash here. Let me squash in this guy. No. Nothing. That's kind of upsetting. Oh, man. There's one down there, but it's dying. That's... I really want some squash. These guys growing tremendously, but no squash. The watermelon... It's doing good. It's trying to crawl. Has little cucumbers. Not cucumbers. Why did I say that? So stupid. Has little flowers. I'm going to have to spray down my, uh, my um, green bean pouch tonight. I bet I got some green beans in here somewhere. But I'm just too lazy to, too lazy to go through 
and uh, pick them, that's kind of bad because I can imagine when, when they're so alive, I'm going to have to hire someone, I'm just kidding. But there's going to be a lot of cute, I'm not, oh my gosh, I'm only the cucumbers. A lot and lots and lots and lots of green leaves. I mean, here we go. We're getting started already. Here's one. Ready to pick. I bet if I go through this five, for five minutes, I bet I'll find at least a dozen or two dozen green beans are ready to harvest. And I'm afraid so I'm going to have to do that. Because if I don't do that, they might, get, they might get too big and can't harvest. Uh, next year, I'm definitely not going to plant as many green beans. I learned my lesson. Th these are four rows here. Too, too much. Just too much green beans for me to eat. They're taking over like crazy. Um... So I'm I'm gonna have to look through here real quick, guys, if you don't mind. Oh, here I uh, see. Told you. See, look. These guys. This guy's ready to harvest. See. And guys, if if you guys go to garden store or in the garden section of Walmart, um, they do sell uh, these special shorts. I have tremendously big pockets for you guys to, uh, when you guys go to harvest, you don't need no strain or no nothing. Just put them in your pockets, which I'm doing right now. And, uh, nice, they got different colors. Um, and it's, they're just so thick. Just incredibly thick in here, guys. It's um, just tremendously thick. And here are two more green beans. Excuse me, the helicopter. Here, two more. There's just so many green beans. Just a helicopter passing by. Pod checking the traffic in the in the area. I saw a green bean down there. There's so many green beans. Actually, the harvest is now. Well, I guess I'll um, harvest everything and, like, guys, let you know what I got. Well, I just spent like about a good solid 20 minutes, 25 minutes sticking on green beans. And this is what I came up with. Not bad. Not bad. There's some more. They're coming. And let me tell you something, folks. They're coming really good. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely... So here's our little mini harvest, that's nothing. One cucumber, one tomato, tomato, whatever you call it. And a little patch of green beans, about a dozen in there, like I estimated. That's nothing. I, I'm telling you, in about um, June, at the end of June, beginning of July, in the middle of July, this place is going to be freaking overloading me. I, I'm going to have to eat a lot. And probably sell stuff too to the markets or whatever. Um, and also, of course, you gotta do this, guys. And, I, and um, give some to the church donations for the people that need the food. Absolutely, I'll definitely make a video on that. Um, you gotta do that stuff. You gotta help people. And, and I wish, I wish I just had this whole area, guard my whole yard, for gardening, and. I didn't eat anything. I, I would not eat anything in the garden. I would just give it. Even if I had to do that, I would do that. Because I got food. I can go to the market and go buy some food. A lot of people don't, can't do that, you know? So, that's, that's what I'm going to be doing with this, all this food. Nothing. I can't donate anything yet. I just can't go to the church or whatever, donate like one tomato. You know what I'm saying? You need like a whole bucket or something like that. So, I will definitely be doing that and absolutely be making a video about that when I'm at the church and stuff. And I'm gonna go cook these up. I want, I want guys to show you how to cook these up later on this, later on this week if I get a bigger harvest. But I'll put this in the refrigerator, cook them up tonight for dinner. Having steak tonight, some nice green bean bake, and then and a nice salad. Ain't gonna sound so bad. So uh, see you guys later, and uh, hasta la vista.